Talent Sprint. I'm happy to present to you a new series to help you prepare for your AMCAT exams. This video clip is part of our free live class on YouTube where we discuss questions from previous year AMCAT examinations. I hope you will enjoy this video. So let me just share, your screen, share my screen with you. So here is our first question. So here is our first question. So the way we will work is that I'm going to show you a question and then I'm going to give you a tip. Based on the tip, you should be able to answer the question. So I'm going to display the question again after displaying the tip and I will give you one more chance to answer the question based on the tip. And then finally, I will show you the answer of the question. So here is our first question. Can you all see it? Just try to answer this question. So I see few people live here. Subramaniam and Anshul and Manoj. A very good hello to you all. Can anyone you try to answer the first question? Okay, I see Pramod also. Okay, I have some good number of people joining. Afroz is here. Hello to Afroz. So, as I told the, as I told you guys that we are going to discuss some Java coding output related questions that are asked in AMCAT programming section. So, in the first topic, variables and data types. I have put up, put up a first question. So can any one of you try to answer the first question? So Anshul, Manoj, for any of you guys, do you have an answer to this particular question which is on your screen? Can you see the question on the screen? Okay. So let me give you a tip to answer this particular question. Hello. Okay. I see Subhadeep, Subhadeep Goswami and Afroz saying hello. Hello to you guys. So all of you, can you see the question on your screen? And if you can, can you please uh, guess the answer, whether it should be an A op option A or option B or option C or option D? Okay, so let me just show you. Okay, so I see Pramod writing yes, so I think you can see the screen. So I've displayed the question here. Now let me just show you the tip that can be used that you can use to solve this particular question. Okay, so I'm going to the next screen. But here's the tip. It's a rule for an identifiers, identifies as in like variable. So I'm going to display the question again. If someone using the tip has figured out the answer. So can anyone of you figure out the answer? I'm just waiting. So can you tell me the, can you write the option number in the comment? Akash says yes, I think he has. Okay, Ankit says option D, none of this. Okay, do I have any more answers from you guys? Come on guys. This is the first and one of the most easy questions that I could pick up from the AMCAT. Okay, so I'm going to give the answer of this question. So the answer of this question is C, which is compiler is going to display an error. Okay, so if you see over here, this declaration of the variable A, which says int plus plus A, this, this declaration is not right. Okay, so as you saw the rule of an identifier is that the variable has to start with an alphabet okay so since the variable name is starting with a plus sign so hence this is not a right declar right declaration and hence the answer will be option number c where it says compiler displays an error it will display an error because the variable declaration here is not valid so this was the first question so now let's just move on to the next question. I hope the explanation for the question number one, the answer explanation was clear to you. So I'm moving on to the next question, question number two. I would request you guys to have a look at this question carefully and try to answer the question. If you're not able to answer the question, I'm going to show you a tip, read the tip carefully and then try to answer the question again. Okay, so let's, let's go to the next question. Okay, so here is question number two. So can anyone guess the answer of this particular question? Will it be option A, B, C or D? I would really love to have some answers from you guys because this is, there is no negative marking. This is just a practice that we are doing. So I really hope that you guys would actually make a wild guess if you do even don't know the answer. Someone? So Pramod has given an answer C. Akash has also given the answer C. So Arun is also saying C. Okay, so for the other guys who have still not been able to figure out, I'm going to show you the tip for this particular question. 
So the tip says that if you divide an integer integer with another integer and store it in an integer variable, then the decimal part of the result is trimmed off. Okay, I think we have someone new joining, Tejesh. Hi, Tejesh. Just see the question again. So the others who have not given the answer, if after reading the tip, if you have figured out some answer for this question, so now Pramod says D. <laughs> okay. Akash still says C. So, so Badeep says C. Okay. So let me just show you the answers quickly. So the answer is C. Now let me just give an explanation of this. So over here we are printing variable 2, printing variable 2 and variable 4. So now let's see what is variable 2 and variable 4. Variable 2 is variable 1 by 4. Now variable 1 is actually a double variable. So basically over here we are dividing a double by an integer which is 4. So double divided by an integer will give a double answer. So when we divide variable 1 which is 5 plus 1 6 by 4 the answer will be 1.5. So variable 2 will print 1.5. Now let's go to variable 4. Variable 4 is an integer type and it is variable 3 divided by 4. But now here variable 3 is an integer type and the value over here is 5 plus 1 which is equal to 6. So when we calculate variable 4 it will be an integer variable integer type 6 divided by integer type 4. So an integer divided by integer though the answer will be like 6 by 4 equals to 1.5 but this time since this is an integer type and this is also an integer type so this 0.5 will be trimmed off and only 1 will be shown in the print statement. So here this way for variable 2 1.5 is printed and for variable 4 1 is printed. So this is the way it works. So I hope you learned something new with this particular concept. So now I'm going to move to the next question which is also based on the same concept. Let's have a look at the next question. Yeah, so this is my next question. Just have a look at this question and try to answer, try to give the answer. Okay, Ankit says C, compilation error at line 3. Okay. Anyone else who has an answer for this? So I see Akash was really in a good hurry to go to the next question. So here is the next question, Akash, in front of you. Can you try to solve this and give an answer? Arun says C's compilation fails. Okay. So I have two answers. Okay, so Ankit says because we are storing the value in int. So Saurabh says B. He says 10 and 7. Okay. Rosa also says B. Okay. Okay, guys. So I'm going to show you the tip. Okay. So very interesting tip over here. And just read the tip and just evaluate your understanding about this question again. So here's the tip. So here's the tip that I have given. I hope it will have it will give you some idea of how to solve this particular question. I'm going to show you the question again. Now that I have shown you the tip, I'm going to show you the question again. Now I would request you all to use the tip and again relook at this question and try to give the answer. Anyone who has given the answer before, would you want to change the option? Pramod says B. Okay. Arun says C. Compilation error. Question 3, answer B, Pramod, okay, Pramod, I got your answer, right, so Rohan says C, Arun again, C. Arun says A, Roja says A, okay, okay, Sai Shri Lakshmi says A, okay guys, so let me just give you the right answer, so the right answer is A, it will display 8 and 7, now let me give you an explanation why this is the answer, so as I told in the tip that, when you put a zero, when you put a zero, okay, when you put this zero in front of an integer literal, it is treated as an octal number. So now this zero one zero is not a decimal number ten; it is actually an octal number with a base eight. So if you convert, I hope you have already you already know the conversion between one number number base to the another number base so let's suppose we have a binary base which is a base 2 we are able to convert it into decimals right so here we have base 8 so when you actually convert 0 1 0 into base 8 an octal number this is equivalent to 8 and the next integer 0 7 
in octal is equivalent to 7. Hence, when you will actually print i and j, the answer that will be printed is 8 and 7. Okay, so I really hope you understood that the concept over here that when you, rep you, when you put a 0 in front of an integer, that integer literal is treated as an octal number and not as a decimal number. So this is what the concept behind this particular question is. So it's a very small concept that it is an octal number and if you know this particular concept you can solve this question very easily. Okay, so now I will move on to the next question. Yes Pramod, I see that you have given a right answer after seeing the tip. So now we look. let's look at the next question and answer it. So here's question number four. So guys, this is another program. Have a look at it and try to guess the answer. So there's one more one more person joining us, Rakesh. Hello Rakesh. No problem, you're late. Uh, we are on question number four. Oh, there is Zafar, Ali Zafar. Okay, so guys, we have joined late. So we are actually dealing with the Java coding output related questions that are asked in AMCAT. And we have done three questions already. So we are on question number four. So try to see this particular question and try to answer. Give me an answer. The option in the comment. In the comment, write, write the option that you think is correct. A, B, C or D. So Pramod says question four answer is B. False. Okay. Ro Roja also says B. Arun Pratap Singh says A. Okay. I have Paolo Mi who says A. Chaitanya who says B. Santosh Reddy says D. D is an exception is thrown at error, error at runtime. Okay, so Santosh has a different answer from the other group. Okay, guys, so let me just show you the tip for this particular question. Okay, so let's have a look at the tip. Okay, so let's have a look at the tip. Now I'm going to display the question to you again. So I've shown you the tip and I'm displaying the question again. So now based on what you have learned in the tip, use that tip and try to re uh, relook at this question again and try to give me an answer again. Ankit, Ankit says C. Okay, compilation fails. Anyone else who wants to take a get, uh, to solve it? Okay, Azra Amrin says C. Rakesh says B. Okay, so Pramod says that he thinks the answer is C after seeing the tip. Okay. Okay, guys. So let me just show the answer. Arun also says C. Yeah. Let me just show the answer. And Pramod, you really learned from the tip. The answer is actually C. So let me just exp give me an explanation why the answer is C. So just let's let's look at this particular s s statement. This particular statement. Here, x is of type int, and we are trying to put it in a boolean boolean variable type. Okay, and this is not allowed. Okay, this is not allowed. So if you see only this particular expression where it says x is equals to y y is of type double and x is of type int so when you say x is equals to y this is also wrong if you have to say it correctly you will have to do an explicit type casting using a cast so for this particular expression the right way to write it is x is equals to int of y. So this way y will be converted to int and then stored in the integer variable int. Okay, but in no case you can store an integer variable into a boolean variable. Okay, so that is where the compilation error will occur. Okay, so I really hope that the concept is clear to you. And now I'm going to move to our next question. Yeah, so this is our next question, question number five. So have a look at this question and try to answer the right option. So guys, okay, I have the first answer from Chaitanya D. Okay, Chaitanya says D. Okay, I've got one answer. So buck up guys, we already have one answer. I am expecting some more answers. Santosh Reddy says D. Okay, okay, Sai Sri Lakshmi. Sri Lakshmi says C, long, okay. I'm really glad that I'm, I'm actually seeing some people answering. Good. Some more, please. 
Rohan also says D, Rakesh says D. Okay, so let me just give the tip. So here's the tip. So just read the tip. Okay, so I'm, uh, I've showed you the trip, uh, sorry, tip, and now I'm displaying the question again. So if you want to take another guess, so Manish says C, so as in long, Ankit says C, Adra Amreen, say, Amreen says A. Okay guys, so let me just give you the answer. The answer for this question, most of the people have guessed is correct, is answer D. So now let me just show you why the answer is T. So if you see this expression, in this expression, we have two variables, X and Y. X initially over here is of type byte, but it has been typecasted to long over here, okay? So one of the variable X is now of data type long. Now let's look at the another variable, which is Y, okay? Now y over here is of type double. So in this expression, we have two variables and one of them is double. And double variable data type, double data type is wider than long data type. So the entire expression, this entire expression, which has a double and a long, this entire expression will convert into a double, double variable, double data type because double is wider than long. So that is why the answer for this will be D double. Okay, I hope you learned the concept over here. So I'm going to, so these five questions that we saw were from the topic variables and data types. Okay, so I really hope you learned some concepts behind variables and data types and it will help you answer some AMCAT questions. So that was all we had from our last live class on this topic. I hope you enjoyed learning some good concepts. If you like this video, do watch the other parts which cover more topics from AMCAT. If you wish to learn on YouTube by interacting live with our trainers, then do join our next live class on AMCAT by subscribing to our channel. So see you all soon. Until then, happy learning.